want to know how to set some rules your sales team has to follow when they're managing their deals in HubSpot? Because you can use things like conditional deal stage properties and deal pipeline rules to do just that. I'm going to show you how in this HubSpot hack. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. So we're here in HubSpot looking at our deal board and we don't have any rules or restrictions set right now for our deal pipeline. So you can see I can grab this super awesome HubSpot deal and I can move it backwards. I can skip some deal stages and I don't have any properties coming up that I have to fill in as I'm moving this deal around. So I'm gonna show you how you can set those things up. So obviously you have to be inside of HubSpot and click the gear icon towards the top right to get to your settings. If you're already on your deal board, it should already take you to the right area. If not, on the left-hand side, you can scroll down to data management, and then it'll be under objects and then deals. From there, you'll want to navigate to pipelines and just make sure that you're working on the right pipeline. If you have more than one, you can set different rules per pipeline. So just make sure you're working on the right pipeline before you start setting these rules. So we're going to scroll down here to our deal stages. And if we hover over conditional deal stage properties, this is where you can set required or suggested fields that your team would have to fill in when they want to move these deals to a certain stage. So if I click edit properties here, I can search for properties. So we're doing the contract sent stage. So at this point, your sales rep should probably know the amount that this contract would be worth and a potential close date that they can expect it to be signed. So I'm going to search for amount and I'm going to add it here. And then I'm also going to add close date. So right now when I move these a deal into the contract sent stage, these properties will pop up. They won't be required for me to actually move it to the stage though. So I'm just gonna check off this checkbox here and now they'll be required for any of my sales reps to move a deal into that contract sent stage. So I'm just gonna click next and make those changes and press save. So next we wanna make sure that they have to follow certain other rules like we want them to follow through all the deal stages, not be able to skip stages, things like that. That's what we're gonna use pipeline rules for. So at the time of this video, this is actually still in beta. So you might need to opt into that beta underneath your product updates. But if you do have access to it or it's now fully released, you'll see that under pipeline rules here. So they give some suggestions. It's important to note that these rules don't apply to any super admins in your account. So they can over override things in case there's any edge case scenarios. But some pipeline rules that we can set are limit deal creation to a single stage. So if I turn this on, it's gonna ask me what stage I want all of my new deals my sales reps are creating to go into when they create it. So that stops them from creating something further down the pipeline. If say I only want them to be able to create deals in that first stage, consultation scheduled, I can do that. Next, we can restrict deals from skipping stages. So we want them to follow a linear flow through our deal board. I can turn that on to make sure that they can't skip, uh, skip any stages, excuse me. And it's also common for people to not want deals to move back. Reasons being that can hurt our reporting or once they reach certain points in the sales process, um, you know, maybe sometimes they take a step back, but we don't want that to reflect on our forecasting um, or on our pipeline. We can turn that on as well. And if you want to get really specific with things, you can even control deal editing access for specific deals to be able to move to stages. Like say we want to turn this on and we only want super admins to be able to actually move deals into one we could turn that on if we wanted to. So I'm actually gonna leave that one off for a demonstration of this video, but we've got some mandatory properties now to move uh, deal stages. We've got some new rules. We're gonna go back to our deal board and I'm gonna show you how they work. Okay, so we're back in our deal board view and I showed you earlier how I was able to just move deals wherever I wanted in the pipeline, skipping stages, moving them backwards. And now you'll see if I grab my super awesome HubSpot deal, I try to move it backwards. I get a deal pop up that says I can't do that. If I try to skip any stages, I get a pop-up saying I have to move it to the next stage from its current stage. And when I do move it from presentation held into contract sent, I get a pop-up here, making sure that these properties are filled in. You can see I already have them filled in so I can click save. But if I didn't, I'd have to put them in. If I didn't, I wouldn't be able to move it into this deal stage. So that's how you can set specific rules and restrictions your sales team have to follow in HubSpot using conditional deal stage properties and pipeline rules. I hope you like this video. Remember to like and subscribe to HubSpot Hacks and happy HubSpotting.